So today is. Today is day one, two, three, four, five, eight. seven. Eight? Yeah. Today's day eight. The noise you hear in the background is my large machine. What is it called? For my balloon, balloon pump. pump. Only five days into our wait, Jason needed the balloon pump to stop the migraines. That was a pretty rough recovery, but by day 10, he was getting back to himself when I finally won the beard battle. You won. No thing's coming off. It's not about win or lose. I'm actually really mad about it, so. It's about I'm maintaining mad. your hygiene. And I can't keep up with it. And by day 11, we sent Kaylee back to college to start her spring semester in West Palm Beach. Love you. What you doing? Some videos. How do you feel today? I feel pretty good. Just okay. getting stir crazy. I'm tired of being in this little 12 by 12 room for 13 days now. They told me I was going to be able to go outside and maybe go for a walk, but apparently they lie. Yeah. It's Linda's fault. <laughs> Thanks, Linda. Nice. I'm sitting on my little couch, writing my blog, and here comes the Zamboni. Very quiet in here. He's just driving in the hall on a Zamboni. <laughs> you know, living the dream in here. Lucky day 13. Sunshine day. Sunshine is out. <clears throat> they wouldn't let me go walking outside. No. He said, I'm not a flight risk. What did they say? It's too uh, risky. Too risky because you might get a cold. Too risky because, no, because I could fall or do something and pull this thing out. And so, you might get a cold. Grace said you might get a cold. All I get is sunshine from my big giant window. But I'm not complaining because this is literally the first time the sun's been out since we've been here. Right? Well, a lot of times we have the blind shut because you can't, you got a headache and you don't want to see the sun. Whatever. But it is beaming in here this afternoon. It's, it's a beautiful day. I can day. feel the heat from it. It makes me happy. Mm -hmm. I love the sun. Did so we get everything, Jess? I think so. I so we just got an upgrade in our room. Big up, bigger room. It's like we're on vacation. And a way better view. Alright, so Tara, Tara was right. Jesse's already moving furniture around the room. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think that's better. It's pretty amazing. It's like a stupid chin strap. I know you have something to do with it. Sideburn. Goatee mustache. For all of you observant people out there, you might be wondering where Jason's giant port went. They removed it on day eight because of a clot which posed risk for infection. After 14 days, it had to be put back in so we could reapply to stay at a status two on the list. This port looks very painful, but it's actually just uncomfortable. The next several days, Jason was feeling back to himself, and life in our new apartment was rather uneventful. He edited videos, I did yoga and worked on my art, we watched movies, and he took lots of long blinks. Only 18 days into our journey, on January 13th, our world was about to change. Here we go. January 13th. This girl's asleep. We're in the middle of a snowstorm. Doctors have been in. How this guy is still just 
sleeping, relaxing, doing nothing. I can't figure it out. Meantime, today is a very exciting day. Um, they came in this morning around six o'clock and told us that there is a very strong possibility for a heart today. Um, Jason's not letting me call anybody or jump the gun, but I am jumping the gun. So I can just feel it, like I know this is the day. So it's now 9.30 in the morning. The doctors just came in again and checked him out and said they think that he is like Jesus himself because He's just laying in the bed sleeping. Lucky number 13. No way. No. Oh my God. Can I vlog this? <laughs> you are kidding me. Oh my gosh. So what happens? What happens? Yes. What happens? <laughs> A heart gets transplanted. Uh, no. Uh, so 4 p.m. is the timing that you would think they're thinking about for the OR. Oh my gosh. So, so they have evaluated the heart. Everything looks good. They will basically start their process. Your process will be around them. So oh you get family going. Okay. Oh my God! That's Is it. are there any restrictions for family that can come in? Like where are we going to be? <laughs> Jason wants nobody. Jason likes no bells and whistles. <laughs> okay. Okay. But four o'clock. Four o'clock is what we're thinking about for OR time. Oh my god, there's no way we're going to get our kid here. So, I was literally just in the middle of that, and then clearly the doctors busted in. Woke me up. I'm going nuts, and 4 o'clock today, I don't even know what to do. Like, I don't I think know it's what weird to do that they can give you. I think it's weird that they can give you, like, a time. Like, they skip, I, I just never thought it would be scheduled like that. You know what I mean? I just thought I'd always be like the surprise, like bang, you gotta be in there in two hours, but I'm like, okay, four o'clock. I don't even so, know what to do right now. It's 9.30, you got five hours to freak out. Four o'clock? So, yeah, something like that. I don't even know how to feel. I'm so scared. I'm this so excited. We gotta call Kaylee. Okay, we gotta start calling people. I gotta get it together. Wrap it up. In true Jesse fashion, it was time to pull off a Hail Mary and get Kaylee back to the Maryland in the middle of a snowstorm. By 10 a.m., I had her on her way to the airport with no ticket in hand. But with a lot of help from the Schwings and a little Southwest magic, Kaylee pulled off the greatest airport sprint of all time. She made it on a flight by 10.45, just one hour after we had received the big news. By 2 p.m., the Foster Five was whole again. The day was full of hurry up and wait. The calls were pouring in as the news was spreading, and before we knew it, the waiting room was full as our tribe gathered around us, praying and waiting for God's precious plan to unfold. Having a rough go. Having a rough go saying goodbye to our dad. But we know he's in the hands of Jesus. These guys? <laughs> Not so much. <laughs> How are you guys feeling? I'm sleepy. So what do we got going on here, guys? It is now 8.10. Kaylee is having a rough day. I have paparazzi for the bag, please. <laughs> the surgery was pushed back three different times, but finally at 9 p.m. we said our goodbyes and I was off to the OR. The surgery took a total of nine hours. On January 14th at 12.45 a.m., my new heart was placed in my body. At 2.16 a.m., it beat on its own for the very first time. By lunchtime that very same day, they were able to remove my breathing tube, and by dinner time, I was able to stand up out of bed for a few minutes. Uh, harder than I used to. 
faster than I'm used to. But I can't take deep breaths. Tomorrow you're gonna get the balloon pump out. Bye bye balloon pump. And then you should get all that stuff out and your heart can beat kind of normally. All this fluid's gonna start going away. Let me yeah, show your fluid hand. is insane. Look at your poofy hands. My hands. I don't even have a wrist anymore. That's not too bad though. I mean, huh? it could be a lot worse. I don't know. It's pretty bad. It's pretty bad, but you're really fortunate that on day two, you have already got yeah. your breathing tube out, you got out of this uh, bed, bad. you moved to the chair, like, true. you're doing things that sometimes take people 10 days to do, and you just did it yeah. on day two. Finally figuring out a good pain management thing here, so the pain's getting a little bit better, <gasps> but now I can't get rid of the hiccups, <laughs> which is really horrible because it hurts when you hiccup. But at least the, we, we <gasps> started me on some new pain pills today. They seem to be helping out a lot. Heart rate, twice as much yep. as LV and C heart, so yeah. we're doing work. Yeah, that was the <laughs> biggest problem was I couldn't breathe because my heart rate at one point was, <gasps> was up to 120. So it felt like I just ran a marathon, <laughs> and then some fat guy was sitting on my chest, and I got zero, <gasps> literally zero sleep last night, so it's starting to catch up with me now. What is this, day? <clears throat> the second day after surgery? Yep. Yeah, so not too bad. I plan on breaking records to get out of here, <laughs> so that's <clears throat> my goal. Bye. How'd you like your first walk? It was rough. <clears throat> it was real rough, but it felt good. I need to get moving. So. I mean, I've had worse, but I can't really eat much right now. I know my chest hurts so bad. Pounding? Huh? Pounding? No, like burning. From the, <clears throat> burning from the hiccups for the past five days. So Jason has rosy red cheeks because his blood pressure every night has been going up. Oh, you can't see it. It's flashing 181 over 86, which is like twice as high as it used to be. So it's a little too high. He feels miserable when it gets like this. Did you have a good breakfast? It was pretty good. What'd you have? Um. Um. Uh, fried. Not Fraggle Rocks. <laughs> frosted Flakes. Yeah? Yeah. <clears throat> two, two bowls of Frosted Flakes. It's really loud. They were extra loud Frosted Flakes. Were they crunchy in your ears? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Did the nurses page you all night? No. No? Not last night. I actually heard no words last night. Oh, yeah? Yep. You got some hot tea? I got some really hot tea. Just five days after transplant, we moved from ICU to a regular room. Pretty crappy day. Yeah, hopefully tomorrow will be better once I settle into these meds. We got a hiccup problem. I got a, yeah. And I, I feel like my swelling's getting bigger again. Mm. My legs feel like they're gonna burst. Let's see the hands. Yeah. Well, no, I think they look better, but... This elbow, I've never seen this elbow look like that. Yeah, arm's a little swollen. Can't see it on the camera, but... 
But all in all, today was a blessed day. We got we got to move to our mini apartment, and that's pretty yeah, good news. Yeah, long day of just moving and waiting to get moved. So. And no sleep last no night. No sleep at all. Zero sleep last night. Yeah. Last couple of nights have been no sleep, so. Yeah. But it could be way worse. Yeah. Uh, but you're moving, know. you're moving, I'm you're on a road to recovery. I'm trying to get out of this hump. I think I expected almost half. Exciting just happened. Our drug, I think this is what's happening. Our drug, this one, dibitamine, um, yep. is our last drug that's sort of holding us to this contraption. Um, well, that and those tubes coming out of my chest. Well, it's got chest tubes still that are draining from there. It drains the fluid out to that gross thing. And all that grossness is fluid that's draining out of his body. But um, once this drug stops, it's the last one holding us to this pole. So he could finally get detached from that and walk around a little more freely. If I can get these chest tubes out, I think it'll be really good. Yeah. So today is day 26. Day 26, um, how many days after surgery? How many days after seven surgery? days after surgery. So seven days with the new heart, and it's kicking. Yep. Jason put on 30 pounds of fluid, so the daily struggle was to feel well enough to get up and move. So last night we put up day 27, which means today's day 28. Going completely insane. Mr. Foster doesn't want to do anything today. He's sleepy and uncomfortable, and he just discovered this couch. He's got this tube coming out of his belly there that goes to these drains, still draining fluid. So, really, really gross. Match the following medications to the description below. Each day was spent conditioning his body and adjusting to the medications. We had a lot to learn before they sent us on our way. We waited 18 days for a new heart and just 13 days later, he was able to go home. It's these pills. We gotta know what they do. <laughs> I know, that's Is not it what Tacker does. Prednisone? So what's the deal? Going home. What day is it? No idea. It's the end of January. January 26th. January 26th. What day we get here? December 27th. Full circle. Full circle. Last one's in. Last one in, first one out. Not surprised. I don't know, me neither. I think a lot of the other patients and doctors are now. What are you feeling? I'm ready to eat out of here. Lucky. Lucky, yeah. We're leaving. Other people are not. Take me.